Hello, Gemini. Thank you for clicking into Witchy Woo Tarot. My name is Christina, and I've been studying astrology and reading tarot for several years now. My goal here is just to help others with my intuition and channel the messages that need to come through. So the readings are timeless. Just take whatever resonates for you, whether it be past, present, or future. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This reading is for the general collective of Gemini. Not every reading will resonate with you, so be sure to check your birth chart for your moon, Venus, and rising signs to see if those videos have the message you need to hear. So, Gemini, today was a very topsy-turvy day um, for me, and so, you know, when I was channeling you guys, I kept hearing the song Come Together by the Beatles, and if you don't know, then you need to know. So I think that's kind of a great song for you, especially because they describe this very contradictory fellow. Um, and we all know that you guys are like the introverted extrovert of the Zodiac. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for you tonight. I have three different decks that we're going to use. Since you guys are like night and day, I couldn't really decide which deck might be good for you. So I'm just going to go with the original Tarot, the Rider Waite deck. So, Gemini, that song, it just keeps playing in my head, and it's just so funny, and it makes me laugh. You guys are so quick-witted and just super funny, and basically just some of the most gifted people that I know. You have a way with words, and um, you, guys are, you guys are really smart, so... I'll give you that, Gemini. All right, so let's go ahead and get some energies for this sign of Gemini, please. Some general energies for the current season of Aries. For the sign of Gemini, please. What do we have in the original tarot for you? Ooh, you like that fancy artwork right there? We've got the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Knight of Wands is, <sighs> the Knight of Wands can be the player card. Um, the Knight of Wands can just represent someone who is just after the one thing. And by thing, you know what thing I mean. So they're after that and they're not really the type to stay. Um, they're kind of just flighty a little bit and, you know, but also they're passionate. I mean, this guy, he's on a mission. So the Knight of Wands is kind of contradictory like you guys. I mean, yes, this is a fire sign card, so you could be connecting with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but... This guy is fun, charismatic, like just generally fun. And then you've got the runner. So you might be dealing with somebody who, you know, possesses a lot of really great qualities, but they sometimes just don't know how to stick around. So, the action is there. The intent is there. But, if I'm going to be honest, this night energy, I'm kind of feeling, maybe you will play a baby. Who knows? This could be your energy. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some more cards for you, maybe just for the next couple of weeks to see how this progresses and add to the storyline. I feel like I just described you, Gemini. I feel like I just sort of attacked you in a way, and I feel kind of bad about it, but, I mean, if you're a Gemini, you already know. So, it's not an insult. Alright, so one more for the general energies over the next couple of weeks for the sign of Gemini. Let's add layers to this for you. Alright, it didn't fly out all crazy, but it wanted to come out. Okay, so, the King of Cups. So I see a little bit of a journey. So whether we're talking about you or talking about somebody in your life, 
You can reverse the roles, reverse the genders. It really just, whatever resonates with you. This doesn't have to be a romantic situation either. It could just be, you know, a family member that doesn't stick around or a family member that maybe makes promises and that you don't see as often as you'd like. Or in general, this could also, you know, be about a job. I mean, you could have, you could have so much work to do, but not have anywhere to do it. Maybe been shut down recently, don't have a job. It could resonate in that way for you too if you're just thinking general, but a lot of people watch these videos for love, so I'm gonna go ahead and say what I think. So this card right here, we've already described, this card right here is like the total opposite. This is the King of Cups. So not only have we graduated from a knight energy to a king energy, evolution, but it looks like whoever this person is, is finally learning to get in touch with their emotions. So, you know, you may deal, you may be dealing with or will deal with or have dealt with somebody who maybe made promises and couldn't keep them. Or maybe things started out really passionate and fun, but then when it was time to open up, it just flopped. So I feel like this person is going to, or has changed, and is going through some sort of emotional enlightenment. So King of Cups, though, is also keen on holding back their emotions. So even though they're feeling the feels, they're not really going to jump up to speak on it or say anything about it. So, I would like to know the outcome for this situation, please, and see if this resonates with anyone in the world. Whoa. Okay, so let's talk about something first of all. I usually don't read reversals. So, I'm just going to tell you either way. Obviously, this could go two ways. Either this person thinks, feels like, you know, this is the ultimate happiness, Ten of Cups, it's the happy ending. Um, you know, you could reconnect back with this person because of their, you know, little emotional awakening when they kind of come to terms with maybe the way they behaved in the past. Um, they may come to you. I mean, this King of Cups, he's holding two cups. Well, actually, wait a minute, that's just a staff. Or maybe like, I don't know, a mini flashlight. Anyway, so this king is carrying the cup. He's done with his old ways. He's this guy's going this way. He's coming into the new the new realm of emotion. This is emotional fulfillment. So you could get an emotional offer from this person. Um you might have to wait. Like I said, they're not really the type to jump in and express how they feel. So you know, you could take it this way or you could take it in the reverse. I mean, some of you take it how it resonates. You may not want this person any longer and maybe, you know, you found happiness elsewhere, essentially. So, that's the current energy I'm getting there and I kind of would like to clarify, I would like to clarify this emotional journey. And maybe get some a little deeper okay so wow <laughs> you guys look it's the queen of cups so now we have counterparts on the board maybe you and this person are soulmates Maybe you're supposed to have this happy ending. Or maybe you even thought you had that happy ending, but something went wrong. This person galloped off over there. So it seems like I said there's a splitting off of the personality here, which I find so funny because, again, this is you, Gemini. You are so loyal and you're so compassionate. And you're smart and you you're capable of love but you're the other side of your mind 
it's like there's that disconnect there. But again, I feel like you're kind of moving into an awakening of some kind. So this Ten of Cups right here, I feel like you could very well have a happy ending with this person. But just remember, you know, you've got to do the work. It's really hard. Gemini are very hard people to pin down because they're super entertaining, but they're all over the place. So that kind of makes them hard to, you know, attach to emotionally. And they're kind of like Libra in a sense because they're constantly balancing these two minds. But I feel like the two minds are finally coming together. So with this counterpart energy here and the happy ending, amen. Like if that's what you want and, and this, is, this is what you desire from the situation, go for it. I say, you know, if you're this person that I'm describing and you're the king of cups, then I feel like if you know that this person and you are supposed to be together and that this is on the table, you better walk forward with that cup, mister, and say it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some, oh, by the way, this was the Kawaii Tarot, and it is by Diana Lopez. I love it. It's little. It's cute. It's bubbly. It's fun, like you guys. So this deck is the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Noel did the artwork. And I love how light and airy this deck is. It makes me feel like I'm floating on a cloud. And, you know, Libras love dancing in clouds. So do Geminis. So do all the air signs. We're air signs. So I'm going to go ahead and get just one card from this deck. Or maybe two. You know, whatever flies out, we're just going to... Okay, you know what? Three? Come on now. All right, I'll give you the three. Let's see what they say. I'll pick from the top. Whoa. Star Ancestors. Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper. So some of you, like I said, might be coming into some sort of an awakening. Maybe seeing things about yourself that you didn't see before. Looking into that mirror. Finding wisdom within yourself. It's all coming together for you now. Come together. Yes, that's why. That is why I was hearing that. Okay. Now we have surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy. Pleasure, joy, make love to life. So some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Just saying. Venus energy or a Taurus. But I feel like this card is kind of similar to this Ten of Cups. You know, if this is, like I said, the life that you're wanting and this is the person that you know is for you, then, then enjoy it. Just enjoy it and be it and live it. Make it. I always say thoughts become things. So if this is a thing that you're thinking about, best you can do is just keep thinking about it and focusing on it if that's what you want again if you're sitting here listening to this reading and saying i'm never going to take my ex back or whatever else you're thinking and it doesn't resonate for you obviously this is someone very specific story so we have earth school life lessons soul growth study higher learning so Again, going back to the whole theme of lessons and growing, soul growth. Again, I'm feeling that soulmate energy here. And soulmates don't need to be lovers, guys. They could be friends. They could be family members. So maybe some of this can resonate with you. Higher learning kind of tells me maybe since this was an emotional awakening, maybe your person is is realizing, you know, that you guys are meant to be, that there is a higher purpose for us to be here. Some of you could be starseeds. 
And if you don't know that term, please go look it up because, again, educate yourself. All right, guys, this has been such a great reading. It seems like everything is going to come together for you. Um, I hope that it does, again, if that's what you want. And um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Please enter that giveaway, guys. This deck that I'm giving away is so beautiful. And I've got two free readings on the table, so just enter to win. I hope you have a great night and take care.